All right, welcome back. Okay, so we are building our ecologies. We've already built the first two. We'll build a Darko and then we'll just do launch Arcos from there. And that's that's pretty much end game at this point. Once we built the uh, launch Arco, um, I don't know what I'll do. I the penultimate goal of SimCity 2000 is to build 301 launch arcos. Because then they will all launch into space and set up new colonies elsewhere in the universe. And that, uh, that's pretty much the end of the game. You get compensated for how much you um, built in the launch arcos. But yeah. So, I'm not going to subject anyone to sitting through that. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to just cut it off after that point, or if I want to do it off camera. I don't know. But yeah, we're we're pretty much done. Like SimCity 2000 is not a super long game if you know what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a sandbox, so it's kind of it just goes as long as you want. But yeah. Personally, I don't want to do SimCity 2000 forever, but I know some people would probably really like to see me play SimCity 2000 for a long time. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, one more year. Try and kill... Try and get enough money to build the Darko. And then let the city rejuvenate. We'll make at least more than 2,000. Again, be very careful with destroying stuff. Because... Yeah, one wrong click, and that's bye-bye uh, a lot of money for Narcology. Now, I don't know what... I think the Forest Arco is supposed to be, like, a very nature-heavy Arcology. I usually don't bother building any of these other Arcologies, just because they're not as interesting as the Launch Arcos. Hey, got her. Darko. That is badass. Alright, and then everything will go ahead and rebuild after that very depressing couple years of 20% tax on everyone. Um. Again, I think when we finally launch, um, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and um, pretty much do every disaster in the book just to show them off. But again, when you're just trying to like get to the end of the game, disasters are just not the most enjoyable thing to deal with. Okay, go one more year. We'll probably go into debt, but that's fine. Because this isn't like EU4 where you take out a loan immediately when upon going into debt. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to decide what I really want to do next. I 
I think I might try some tower. I I will probably need to like play through it once before feeling comfortable playing it for a let's play. Um cuz I've never played the game. Um obviously that hasn't stopped me before like with uh Surviving Mars, but I'd watched a let's play, a couple let's plays on it prior to playing it. So I already had a good idea of what to do. Um, as a sim game, I would imagine it's probably not that complex to get into. So, yeah, we're a little in debt right now, but that's okay. C plus. Gross. B. B. I mean, all of those are passing grades. <laughs> Love how they all have, like, the same sort of sound effect. But, yeah. I don't know really what else to do until we get money. I mean, we could go up to speed 4. Again, I wouldn't recommend this very often. Okay. Uh, apparently didn't get off of it. Go ahead and lower taxes. Keep hitting. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're back. Back down to normal speed. That's why I say never to do that, but I, I keep doing it. Because I am impatient. So, how much do these launch arcos cost? They're the most expensive, obviously. Yeah, tw uh, two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, definitely the most expensive arcologies in the game. But they're the coolest, and they provide you know the most benefits. Crime. I think crime is the only real problem that can plague them. Let's take a look. Launch Arcologies were nicknamed for their resemblance to modern orbital launchers. Hmm. Resemblance is not entirely coincidental as sophisticated methods of biological support were necessary to oxygenate and feed the thousands of inhabitants. While never tested, the manufacturers claimed the occupants could stay self-contained for up to two decades. And sides of the, the sides of the arcology are equipped with vernier jets to stabilize the structure during storms and earthquakes. A small nuclear facility independently powers the building. Spare energy is stored by electrizing water into two tanks for oxygen and hydrogen. The launch arco is the largest, costing two hundred thousand. Holds 65,000 inhabitants. Build enough of these and you may discover the final secret of Sim Earth. Ooh. A game that I actually do own in the Sim Classic version. That maybe one day we might get to. Okay, go ahead and raise taxes again. As you can tell, we are starting to make a little more money here and there. Having more and more arcologies allows us to house more and more people. Yeah, like... It's like some of these are actually already pretty popular. Yeah, two of them have more residents than, uh, you know, designed for.
Okay. Just because I'm very impatient and want to get to the next thing. Okay, go ahead and lower taxes again. Oh, come on, I keep clicking on it. Okay. Awesome. Now we should have more than enough money. Looks like the city's back down, uh, back up and running. Go ahead and raise taxes again. Because I am cruel <laughs> to the Sims, obviously. I genuinely don't understand why there's such a big difference between uh, speed um, 3 and speed 4. Like, obviously African Swallow was not originally in the game, if I remember correctly. Okay, there we go. Got our final Arco. A nice, uh, get a nice, um, thumbnail for us. Well, actually, hold on. Let's, uh, let's turn that off. Nice thumbnail. Nice. Okay. Turn that back on. And go back to the angle that I prefer. I think this is the best angle. I don't know. What do you guys think? What's the best angle? Okay, do that. And, uh, let's see. Best angle. That's also a pretty good angle. I like that one. I think that was like our default angle. I think this is the best angle for these. Yeah, I, th I, I think I like having them like in the background with the city behind them, or city in front of them. So yeah, we're going to be just building Arcos at this point. So um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put like a cut in here and um here in a few seconds we'll uh, be back with hopefully a few more arcos okay welcome back well sort of welcome back to the rest of the episode i should say so i've been a little busy um and i have a lot of money so the way that i did it was i raised my budget up to 20 percent and just did that strategy over and over again. Um, after a certain point, especially with the Arcologies, um, and the rest of your city being a complete wasteland is inconsequential. So, um, when you when you do that, after and I noticed, like after a certain point, the buildings would just come back to life for like a year and then die again without me having to raise the taxes and taxes really don't change a lot after a certain point I don't know if it's just something in the programming that they they just um, stay like that so I don't know exactly how many we have the best way to tell is to do straight line um of these because i believe the map is 128 tiles wide so you can fit i want to say 32 by 32 um arcologies in an entire map 
obviously I didn't keep that exact spacing, so for me it's a little less than 10 full rows, and I don't really want to destroy certain buildings, because I kind of want to leave some of them intact. Um, one of the things that I thought was funny, notice this, <laughs> these planes are so confused. You can't get around the, the arcologies. They're just kind of stuck there. Hilarious. More money. See, like, our, our taxes haven't really changed a lot. I found really interesting. So, yeah. So that's pretty much the strategy. Yeah, after a certain point it just becomes kind of eh. You do it for the novelty. That's why I don't really do this very often, but for Let's Play's sake, I wanted to show it off. In case anyone hasn't seen this happen. So, again, I kind of want to leave certain buildings intact, just so there's something left uh, when we inevitably leave the Earth. And this is why I would say do it over in the subway area, because um, then you don't have to deal with the roads, and it's a little it's a little easier. I do kind of wish that they had like a box select deconstruct or demolish button, sort of like the D zone tool. I think that would make things a whole lot easier. So it is still unlikely that a building will respawn, but again, as I said, sometimes they do for whatever reason, even though it's 20% tax. So we should be getting pretty close to finishing this. Worst part is when you misclick. That's happened a few times. Only once did I decide to destroy it because it um it was like it wasn't in line this way. Like this way wasn't as bad. See? Like you see right there, all those buildings just came back. I don't know what causes that. Again, the easiest way is to just do a bunch of lines. If you do it exactly uh, 32 by... If you do exactly like the full length of the map, um, it should only take you about nine, uh, around nine rows. Well, a little less than ten rows, basically. Full nine plus some. Plus twelve extra. If I'm doing my math correctly, which, you know, never try and do math while you're... <laughs> While you're trying to play a game, especially when you're trying to record said game. Famous YouTuber told me that. <laughs> Zone. Road that back up. Slowly inching our way over. We did accidentally demolish the statue and the White House, or the Mayor's House, or whatever it is. Um, so we built it back over here. Well, we built the Mayor's House there. The statue's over by. 
um, the little inlet type thing. Getting really close here. something in our way. And I don't think these things need... Oh, we don't have the money. <laughs> it's like, why can't I build this? Okay, so again, only I would only recommend doing the whole... Um... African Swallow speed if you're uh, like doing this where you just you need a lot of money. Extremely quickly. So in a couple in about 10 years we'll have about 10 million dollars. Should be more than enough to finish this game off. Go ahead, head back over here, maybe. Um, what do we want to... Now, I don't know if you can actually build arcologies on... the side here. Hypothetically, it be good if you could, but if they follow the same rules as a lot of the government type buildings, yeah. So you can't actually fit a full 32 row in. Head and clear out some more of these. to figure out where we're on. First I thought I almost destroyed the power plant. Not that it like really matters that much at this point. But, like there's still a good chunk of our city that relies on power. So these things do have their own power. You don't have to worry about them, like, having to try and power all these things. I think in their description, they even say that, um... Like, once you hook it up to the grid, I should say, I should state that, but they don't suck power. Like, our power is still fine. As long as they're hook hooked up to the grid, I think it's... Perfectly fine. Again, I really wish that there was like a box select. Or box delete. So I'm going to continue destroying stuff, and then we'll cut back in to when we get a little closer. Hey, there we go. Exodus has begun. Oh, 
Oh boy. This is great. So you can't really see it at the moment, but all of these things are launching. And for whatever reason, I cannot zoom out. It's odd, because like I placed it down and started destroying stuff, and then it triggered. So I don't know if it happens on the end of at the beginning of a new year. I mean that could make sense. So yeah, it's pretty much this for 301 <laughs> times, and this 301 times. Hopefully we'll get to see it like come over here because we're currently on the south side of the city or the sub area. This is really exciting, guys. I'm fully aware that this is this is the moment we've been working towards the entire game. Yeah, again, I can't move the screen at all. Sadly, once it happens, uh, I don't think you can do anything until it's over. Hopefully it didn't, like, glitch out or something, and just, it's just doing this forever. That'd be kind of a annoying. Oh, there it goes. So you got to see something. Basically they... Should be all of them. It must go like in a uh, row. You launch Arco- and the launch Arcos have departed into space to found new worlds. You have been compensated for their construction. So about 20 million is what it took to build all of that. So let's go ahead and hook ourselves back up for the most part. Okay. So everything's back to semi-normal. Sure did leave a lot of destruction though. A lot of empty space. See how much uh, how much we had to clear just to build those things. Three hundred and one of them. Just as like a reminder, that's how many you have to build in order to. Um. Thanks. Definitely uh, don't get to keep as much. Uh, you don't get nearly as much money now because they're all gone. Head and hook things back up. All right. So, um, as promised, we are now going to go ahead and start a bunch of disasters. So, fire first and foremost. Be nice if it took us straight there. Okay right there got some fire going on pretty basic fires not that exciting or impressive didn't turn disasters off just in general oh no the helicopter <laughs> I don't actually know where the flooding happened so um probably go ahead and turn taxes all the way down. Oh right, you can't actually change the speed up to that fast. Think. Air crash. Of course it's going to happen over top of the water. 
we're we're awful human beings. You really shouldn't be watching this or enjoying this. Tornado, you can't really see it because um there is sort of as it goes and destroys everything. Okay. Uh earthquake. Starts fires. Earthquakes are pretty annoying. Because they do a lot of structural damage. Plus, they generally start a fire, which just gets makes things everything worse. Makes everything worse. Okay, monster. It's <laughs> probably way too much going on to really um the game to really show this very well. <laughs> Hurricane. Okay, I don't know where the hurricane is. But yeah. And I think there's one more. What is it? Riders. <laughs> yeah, the riders are going to take on the monster. Okay, ooh, there's the flooding, or the hurricane, or something. Interesting. Don't know what that was about. But yeah, that that's SimCity 2000 for ya. A uh, pretty, pretty fun run, I would say. Got to show off a lot of different things. Got to show off what the game mostly has to offer. Is it worth revisiting today uh, for anyone who really enjoyed it back in the day? Yes, I would say. Um, it's definitely one of the best SimCity games uh, out there. I think most people would agree with me on that, uh, especially with uh, the recent track record of SimCity games. Um, has it aged uh, particularly well? Um, I mean, graphics-wise, it looks fine, I think. Uh, there's some quality of life things that I think I would add. Being able to move buildings, like big buildings, like um, the, the arcologies in particular. Would, it would be really nice to be able to move those. Um, turning off certain sound effects, like the simcopter reporting uh, when I got the, when I got a comment about it, they had mentioned the simcopter thing. They would change the file from a uh, from like a wave to a W something V, just so it wouldn't play anymore because it just gets so annoying. Um, but yeah, I don't know why the music's been kind of odd. Obviously, when watching the video you're probably thinking well the music sounds fine it maybe cuts in a little weird but that's because i add in the music after just so it's not all this silent noise that i'm hearing and again i don't know if that's because of the game or if that's because of the just it being on a virtual box something messing with it or whatever and yeah i mean that's pretty much all i have to say about the game um i just like to thank anyone who's watched i know that this has been a surprisingly popular series um popular for our channel obviously uh and i just like to thank anyone who has watched it uh checked us out, subscribed, and we really do appreciate that. Um, 
just know that SimCity is uh, SimCity 2000 is not our main game. So if you came to watch SimCity, we appreciate it, but we do have other content that we encourage you to check out. All right, and I think that's it. I'm David, and thanks for joining me in SimCity 2000. Next up, maybe SimTower? Need to take a look at that. All right, have a good one.